Ja, nu niks. Hij is. Hij is niet met zijn arts. Hij is in de fiets. Ja, nou ga ik als je eigen zwem. Of ik ga als je eigen zwem. Of ik ga als je eigen zwem. Of ik ga als je eigen zwem. Maar ik ga. Ik zei dat je niet eens nergens te gaan, maar eerst was. Ik ga niet meer doen, ik zal het wel niet meer halen. Ik moet niet zo wat. Maar nee. Ik ga niet meer halen. Maar ik zei dat je eerst zei dat je niet meer halen. Ik 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 zei dat je niet meer halen. Oké. A good move to break past your defenders. So let's say we got someone kind of guarding me, like, kind of tight. So probably, like, a little bit out from me, so, like, that far away. And it's just kind of, like, it's kind of got to be quick. But you just go, go across, and then you cut hard. So you'll be, like, you'll come up, then they start pushing you back, like, you're going to go this way, and then you cut off. So if you're, if you're right-handed... You're going to probably want to come up with your right, and then you go between the legs. Act like you're going to go this way, and you cut off this way. So in fast motion, it's like... And then... So yeah, you go here, and you cut. You can do it with your, if you're lefty. You go between to the right, and then you cut. So fast motion, that would be... I'm right-handed, but I can do either way. I can go left-hand and cut. I can go right-hand cut. Um, so yeah, that's a good move you guys could use. Um, another one you could use, and this is like, this is a move that you're not going to use a lot. But like when someone's pressing you, like, like almost like full court press, you, you're driving down. And if they're going to try and push you when you go behind the back, so of course you're going to go behind the back. And then you either go away because you're trying to break that press, but if they try and steal the ball from you, that's when you spin. So it's like behind the back. So it goes behind, then you spin, grab, and dribble this way. So it's like, so here, I'll do it from the side. It's like here, and then you cover. Here goes my mic. So that's one way. Or something you could do. Let me strap that back up. So yeah, it's like, so you're like, coming down on a press. They start pressing, they try to steal it, cut back the other way. Gone. Or if you're left-handed, I've never tried this on my left. Coming down on your left side, go behind the back, cut, and then you're going to cut this way. So it'd be, be the same thing. So here, and then you take off. So that's a way to break a, break a press. A move and also and that's when you're like alone but a real good way to break like full court press is just passing the ball being quick so like here someone's open pass there they catch here throw it down that way catch there and just keep moving super quick um so yeah that's a way to break a press there another one you can do into a jump shot uh, would be set this camera back a little more is uh, you can come up from here uh, you, you push in and then you cut back and that's where you got that shot so you're like pushing real hard cut back and then you shoot so that's there if you're left handed it's here cut back and then you shoot with your left um, another way is you just another way to really get past if you're like trying to drive is let's say uh yeah, I'll do it from here. Okay. So the goal, the goal, just so you know, is that little pull right here. But what you can do is when you're trying to drive and the goal is this far away, if you got like a defender here and a defender here, you drop here, cut between, that's one step, go through with the other, and then you go up. Oh, my bad, guys. That was our neighbors. Okay, so yeah, you'd be like, here, and then go up. Salt. Another one is if you guys if you guys got people pressing on your inside, but your outside's either open or you got one defender kind of far, so the goal's here. You go here, out real far, and then you go up. So, like, 
you push your butt into the de defenders, and then maybe there's one guy. You just gotta get that around them thing and then go up strong. So that would just be like, here, and then go up. Um, for a good shot to get, like if you got a guy your size, or maybe just a little bit bigger, is um, you guys, I mean, I, I don't know if everyone knows how to do a fadeaway. That's why I'll just show it. Is you're just like, and then you shoot. So, so you're like, you're going to step with, well, for me, it'd be my left if I'm on my right side. My left foot, then my right, and it'd be just a step back shot. So it's just like, in fast motion, be left, right, shoot. So there's that. Um, so yeah, it'd be like, another one is just an easy step back. You got someone pushing up against you. And the goal is literally right where you guys are. Almost. So you're just pushing, 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 pop back, and then shoot. It's all about being quick and using your head. So just be here. You're pushing, step back, shoot. Push, step back, shoot. If you're using your left, if you're left handed, pushing with your left, step back, shoot. Or even if you're right handed and you're stuck on the left side, push with your left, step back, and then shoot with your right. Um, um, I was showing you guys that Euro step where you're here, and you're here, but you guys can always add to that, so sometimes it could be just like that, other times it could be a little different. This time, the goal is almost where you guys are, maybe you want to go here, bring it through, and then you want to dump pass, so it's just like, just here, and then just Go a little past to some big guy that's driving down on the other side. So it's just here. So here, then your big guy gets it. Goes up with an easy way. Okay. So yeah, you can do that. If you ever got someone pressing you, and you guys got like, we'll take this back up. And I'm a point guard, so I'm telling you guys from a point guard perspective. If you got a defender on your right and on your left, and they try colliding. This is a good move that you can try and use. Is you go here. Because they're colliding. And then you just go. So it's just like. You start pressing. Start pressing. And then you go up for a layup. Or. Or you do what I said. You go up for a, a try. And go up for a layup. And then throw some dump pass. So like behind the back. Throw one like around the players. Maybe you. Maybe you hit it real hard. And then you can't. So you just throw it out for an easy three point to someone else. Um, so yeah, if you hear, you guys have all kinds of different options, especially as a point guard. The only problem being a point guard is you're short. I'm a short, I'm, I'm a pretty short point guard. So yeah, what are them dogs working on now? Um, if you guys are wanting some drills, because I can do all kinds of different things. Because I've just sat out here and just kind of sat out here doing random combinations. Just kind of dribbling. So if you guys are wanting like maybe like a cool little routine. Something that I used to do is you go like, I'll do it in a shorter version. But you can make it up kind of yourself. But you're just kind of like, you go down one way betweens. Maybe you go, maybe you go sideways with the behind the back. Um, maybe you can... Um, you can go down going like right behind over. So like it would be more be between in front, behind, between in front, behind. Um yeah, uh good drills for getting warmed up. I we always did this during games because my dad always taught us this. Um and then we started using it when we got other coaches. Is you sit right under the basket, right like literally, let's say the the goal's about this far away. You step back just a little, sit here, shot. Curry did, does these all the time. You sit here, right here, easy shot. You do that all the way around, try and make five swishes, or just at least five makes if you're newer to the basketball. You sit here, shoot. Um, more uh, ball handling stuff you guys can do. We're about to wrap it up, but um, and I saw in the video, which is kind of true, 
is that I was jumping, which could be a travel. You never know with the refs. Some refs are different than others. But if you just stay down and keep going. So let's say you got someone that's like right beside you. So they're not in front. They're not behind. And they're not playing very good defense. That's when you pick up the pace. Stop. Go again. So like, so like you can like got them next to you. Stop and then you go. That easily takes them. Or also is changing their direction. Maybe you're here. Push in. Cut back. Push in. And then you just like change direction. Change direction and being fast is what a point guard has to do to get around those bigger guys. Be quick, move, do all kinds of different jibby jabby. So you get up for a jump shot. So that's what you guys gotta do. You just gotta find ways to do different things. So yeah. If you guys want more videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, um, Turn on the post notifications. Hey, and I got a YouTube short. And if you go, I got a YouTube short where it's a link to my to my new merch. If you guys want to check that out, go go do that. I, I would I would really appreciate appreciate that because that'd be so awesome to see some people wearing my merch. Um, go check out my Instagram. I had some funny pictures of me. I had some good pictures. I can add some funny pictures of me just, I was walking around with this basketball through town. I was just walking through town, you know, getting some funny pictures and some good pictures. Um, if you guys go to my home page, you guys will see something called merch. Click on that little link because you'll see my little circle picture and then you'll see my regular. So yeah, that. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace.